Are you dressed yeah. to go out? It's not really appropriate. I saw the way Arden was dressed. I was horrified. What do you mean? I'm wearing... No, look at these there. You got holes. Yeah, what's wrong with them? Oh, God, no, no. This is... But and my all legs this... are covered, unlike yesterday. And this... This is a compromise. And, and look at your... No, no, this is not... This is, this is very inappropriate for this. What I think we need to do is we're going to the market and we'll get you some clothes. You know, in India, the whole thing is that a woman has to be respected. There are only two kinds of women. One to be respected and one who's not. Just I like this. I don't care what other people think of me. But I do. The rules and the way she sets them, I find pretty irritating. Sometimes we have to uh, go by the rules of the country. You know? The difference between my mom and Nalini is that my mom is a pushover and she's easier to control, but Nalini, she's like a rock, she like won't move. With that sorted, Nalini wastes no time taking her new daughter shopping. See, everybody's turning around and looking at you. Yeah. These things are not done. Oops, he's staring badly at you. Everybody's staring, eh, God? Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is terrible. I mean, I like to wear makeup and wear nice clothes, and I just thought it was really weird how much of a deal she made out of it. This area, a new dress like this, is not a good thing at all. Yeah. It was terrible. Somebody even said, hello, baby, you know, that. It's really so demeaning. It was lucky that she couldn't understand the language. I thought she was being a bit fussy, but fair enough, since she was walking next to me, she was probably a bit embarrassed. Let's go to see what they have. Let's check it out. Hey, this is not too bad. You'll even feel happy. It's transparent. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's a lot more fun than I thought or expected. This looks so spiritual. You look like an orange. <laughs> like an orange. <laughs> and she has such a good sense of humor. I think it looks really neat. It looks colorful. You look like a beautiful Indian lady. Arden is very sweet, very nice, lovely child. I really think that she should be praised a little more, brought out of her shell. Doesn't it look neat? For some reason, Arden doesn't have a lot of confidence. If I wear t unholy tights, can I wear it like this? Do you want to buy tights as well? Yeah. See, in India, we have rules which tell us how to behave uh, in every situation. In her case, I felt that maybe she was not exposed to this kind of uh, rules as such. Maybe, maybe she needs some of that. It's 5 a.m. and Melanie has lined up a surprise for our teens. Hey, Jasper. Come on. Good morning. You're up and about now. <laughs> Hi, we gotta get up and go now. No. Oh, dear. Traffic. This experience is going to be as nice as what you experienced yesterday. Well, it's half different... as nice as what I experienced yesterday. Then I'm looking forward. <laughs> oh, good. I'm very glad. Yes. Nestled in rural Karnataka is the Art for Living Ashram. Founded by Guru Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, this is a place where you can achieve total inner peace and an open mind. People around the world would get anything to be here. Uh, for somebody to come here, it was destiny, and you have, you, it's really something special. This is a place we hold in very high esteem. The reason I really wanted them to go to a temple was uh, more because, you know, all of us get troubled, all of us. All of us feel at some time or the other that we can't talk to somebody. In which case, where do you vent, you know? You don't vent over a cigarette or a bottle of booze. You really pray. And uh, I, I really wanted to introduce them to prayer because for some reason, I feel that there is no prayer in their life. We then... oh. At first, I thought the meditation was really weird. not calm and get pretty stressed. I don't know why, but after a while, it did seem to work. And I think the Indians have a good thing going here. And it would be cool if we did it like before school every day. I reckon it would make people like so much calmer and work so much better. The workshop at the temple is designed around a series of self-realization exercises to improve awareness and understanding. Just what a couple of troubled teens need. 
<laughs> good Tisha. Good. Back good, yeah. It's an amazing experience. Really different compared to normal and it's so much fun. <laughs> I uh, really wanted Jasper and Arden to understand that we in India believe that everything happens with a divine hand behind it and there is a path already ordained for everybody. The two of them coming in from New Zealand and not any other kid, there must be a reason. Take your attention. Why do you lose your cool when you get angry? Because awareness is not there. If you're aware at that moment, saying, yes, I'm getting angry, what do I do? I do get quite angry with my mom from time to time, and this could be a good thing to stop me from getting angry. I guess the whole being calm thing would teach me and my mom both just, not just how we interact with each other, but just how we live, I guess. I've got a letter here from your mum. Oh my God. <laughs> do I have to read it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not an emotional person. I don't like to talk about emotions or like talking about my relationship with my mom and stuff like that. My dearest Arden, you have always been the sunshine of my life and I love you more than you will ever know, except perhaps when you become a mother. I believe you will be a wonderful mother someday, but not too soon, please. I have always wished and prayed for your health and happiness in life and everything that I do for you and in the rules that I make and the expectations I hold for you. I all intended to be good for your entire life. Plans are never perfect and always require adjustment. The attitude, hmm, <clears throat> it really needs to change for the sanity of us all. You come across at least towards me. As someone with the attitude of a hardened criminal, e.g. tough, hard, inflexible, pushy, obnoxious. Most things in life that are worthwhile are hard and take a lot of effort. Love you, Mom. I still love my mom. I'm just mean to her. After this week, yeah, I think I will feel happy in myself. I don't really know what that means. I guess I need to just try talking calmly with my mom before I start yelling at her. <laughs> 